right guys what's going on welcome back to the channel today we got a fun video to do so behind me i have the melco summit it is the new melco embroidery machine with the screen super super easy to use as you guys know i've had this for a month or two now something like that and i've been playing with it so i wanted to show you guys something that i think is pretty cool and awesome some little features that it has so i do have a wholesale order for 30 t-shirts and they're all embroidered on the neck now y'all know I was doing like small little ones in Brody, but this is a bigger one. So this is like says Maryland all the way across here. And because I have this machine, it is so much easier to do any collar design. So I'm definitely gonna be using it for kids, like personalized because you can very easily move the design and edit it on the screen in terms of like placement and turning it. So super excited about that. But guys, there's something super cool. Super cool, super cool. I don't think I even showed you guys, <coughs> showed you guys in the unboxing video because I didn't even know yet, but see this? There is a barcode scanner on the new Melco Summit. So pretty much I print my design out in Design Shop. That's their embroidery software that you can get. And it prints a barcode with it. So all I have to do is just scan it and it pulls up the design on the machine. No flash drives required. I have a Beckett on the screen and I am just going to take this and scan this barcode. Now you want to make sure you have no spaces in your design name when you save it to uh, your network. Beep. Look, it did it. It did it. It did it. So that's super easy, super exciting. Definitely going to get a folder. Well, well, I'm yellow now. Fix the color. I'm really not that yellow, I promise. Okay, so I'm definitely going to get like a binder and then have all my designs in it. That way I can just scan and go instead of loading the flash drive. Also though, on the machine, there is a network so I can save all my designs on my computer a folder and then I can just log in on here and all my files and designs are there too. So there's two ways. I think the barcode is super simple, easy. So I'm going to go ahead to the color setup because this, I need it to be white. So here's the whole screen of the Melco Sun. It. So here's where you set up your colors. Most of them I have set up correctly, but for this design, I need it to be white. It says dark gray because that's the color I have it in, but I need white. Change it to white and blah, blah. change it right on the screen. It's like the easiest embroidery machine to use. And hit the check mark button. Now over here, we have our active feed, which is the tension. So it gives you a suggestion of where it should be based on what you're embroidering. You can slide it over if you want. I usually run my shirts at a six. And then here's speed. It has all the mighty hoops in here, so you can choose whatever mighty hoop you're using. It was already on the five and a half inch, but that is what we're using. So there's that. And then like, if you want to move it, that makes it super easy. Now this is a bigger design, so I don't have like as much leeway, but like you can turn it and everything on here. So that's pretty cool. It's red because it's out of the hoop limit. So you also have hoop limits. So you can't accidentally hit your mighty hoop as long as it's turned on. So I'm going to recenter it. But yeah, you can turn 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 180. You could flip the design if you wanted to. There's so many features on here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some shirts hooped up. All right, so I'm gonna be using the five and a half inch Mighty Hoop for this design. When it comes to embroidery, you wanna use the hoop that is just a little bit bigger than your design, which for me it is this. And also because I have to make so many and I have plenty of these. I don't have enough for each machine, but because the design is so quick, I can't use all my machines. Now I do have some eight and a half inch stabilizer. Here is a five and a half inch backing holder. These hoops are from Mighty Hoop. There's a code or a link down below for free shipping, or you can call and use code Kids Customs. So the way I usually do it is I print the design out and how you would do this on like the MT16Xs is you would make sure this is straight and then you would line your laser up with the little crosshair here. And that's how you make sure that everything is correct. But because the Summit has a super cool trace feature that just traces exactly where the embroidery is, it makes it even more accurate than this and a lot easier to hoop where I actually wouldn't need to use this. I would just hoop the shirt and then move it um, on the machine. I want the M to be like, like center here. So about right here. And let's get it put on the hoop. All right, so we have the design here and I'm gonna go ahead and this is the button for trace. I'm gonna hit that button. You can see it's like specific onto where it's going to trace exactly the design instead of like my other machines, it goes all the way around. You can choose speed for the trace, how fast you want it to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a trace. So 
So it didn't touch the neckline, which is good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit embroider. And this is the start button. Totally forgot that I did Aryland and then the M last because I wanted the M to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> It's a screensaver, it tells you how long it's left. You can see it moving. And we're done. That was quick and easy. Take it off. Yeah! Alright, let's get some more. Alright guys, so I decided to switch it up. So I'm switching to the 7.25 inch Mighty Hoop because the five and a half inch, the design is literally the exact size and you gotta like do like perfect placement to get it just right. So if I use a seven and a quarter inch Mighty Hoop, it definitely gives me more space to work with and then I can also get it closer to the collar like I want it to. So I'm gonna use this. I only have three of these hoops, but it's okay because the stitch out is pretty quick. Still, I also have the 7.25 inch backing holder. So we definitely have more room for error <laughs> this way. So just make sure we have a lot of the collar in and just hoop it. And then this is the center. This is where I want the end to start. Again, when I use the other machines, the Melco EMT 6 and X's, I have my paper printed with the design and I just line up the laser here. This one's gonna go on the summit though and I'll show you how that works. All right, so since we're switching to the 7.25 inch Mighty Hoop, we gotta click here. And then here's the 7.25 inch Mighty Hoop. I'm gonna select it, click the green arrow. All right, so I want the M to be right here. I'm gonna do a trace. All right, we will get to embroidering. All right, I'm just gonna get these hooked up and ready to go. I'm gonna put them on three machines so I got three hoops. I'm gonna waste these stabilizers because I'm using this big old piece of stabilizer for the tiniest design. show you what I mean by lining up the red laser. So that's the crosshairs. I don't know if you can see, but the red laser is literally right on that crosshair, right in the middle. So that's how you line it up to make sure that your design is straight. And all I do now is just push start. I'll go ahead and get more hooped up. Starting extra large. So 30 shirts, didn't take too long, maybe like, I don't know, I was distracted halfway, but maybe like an hour or so. 
So they're finished. They need to be all cut and packaged. They get packaged individually. Not too bad, not too bad. Let me know your thoughts, what you guys think about the summit and the little features on the summit. I think it's pretty cool. Ooh, I think I'll leave this for Keenan to cut them all. Super excited for this wholesale order. We have a few more, so I will be making those in. Probably another video, maybe, but yes. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions about the summit or anything at all, leave them down below. Um, if you would like to purchase one, you know you can always contact Todd. His information is down below. It's time to go pick up gro baby. Pick up groceries. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.